Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy David Lucas, man. Right back at you. Make sure you go to my website, davidlucascomedy.com. I got some tour dates. Just added a, well, we're going to add a few more this weekend. July 9th, I'm in Poughkeepsie, New York. July 10th, I'm in Brooklyn. Those two will be filmed. So if you're in those areas and you want to be on my YouTube with the Q&A, make sure you pull up. Uh, July 15th, I will be in Aurora, Aurora, Illinois, at the Town Bar and Grill. August 12th uh, and the 13th, I'll be in San Antonio at the Upstage Comedy Lounge. September the 14th, I'll be at Magooby's Joke House. September the 18th, I'll be in Richmond, Virginia at the Sandman Comedy Club. Pull up on your boy! <laughs> hey, but anyway, y'all, um, this next video, as a lot of y'all know, man, I... I shared a video a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, uh, about me moving to California. And this next thing that I'm about to cover is uh, definitely one of the reasons uh, that I decided to move out of California and move to the wonderful state of Texas. Um, but yeah, bro, um, L.A., when I first moved to L.A., man, uh, it was a dream. I've been in L.A. about 10, 11 years now, and um, I've lived all over L.A. I started out in uh, Reseda, then I moved, uh, I lived in uh, South Central, and then I lived in North Hollywood, uh, I lived in Studio City, Valley Village, uh, where else, uh, Koreatown, and uh, now I live in West Hollywood, um, and I've always loved LA, and I used to live in Hollywood as well, I've always loved LA, bro, and I'd say, um, right before the pandemic, you can see LA was like, turning, and when the pandemic came, it just all went to hell. I don't know what has happened. Uh, well, I mean, we know it has happened. You know, politics, we've, we've elected the wrong officials. That's why I try to tell people that micropolitics affect us much more than macropolitics. Uh, voting for your uh, local politics is where, where that controls your everyday life. Like gas prices, you know, inflation, interest rates, stuff like that does have an effect on us. But when it comes to being robbed and the crime in your city, uh, the homelessness that you see, that's local politics, which is just as important as voting for your president. Um, so West Hollywood, the city that I live in, uh, has decided to defund the sheriff's department despite soaring crime. I'll read you this article and then I'll give my input. Uh, West Hollywood has voted to slash law enforcement funding leaving the California city famous for its bustling Sunset Strip nightlife destination with up to five fewer deputies on patrol, despite skyrocketing crime rates in the area. The council passed the budget with a 3-2 vote Monday with Mayor Lauren Meister and Councilman John Erickson voting against it. Uh, meanwhile, the West Hollywood City Council approved keeping bars open until 4 a.m., which just means that criminals have longer to rob you now because bars used to close at two. You make your way home, you know, get something to eat. Maybe you're in the house by 3.15, 3.30. But now with stuff not closing to 4 a.m., you're not going to be getting home to 5, 6. Uh, the vote came just three months after the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department reported that crime in West Hollywood jumped a startling 137% in February 2022 compared to the same time last year. Now, don't get me wrong. West Hollywood is Hollywood adjacent and Beverly Hills adjacent. It is it's one of the best neighborhoods to live in. It, yes, it is a gay neighborhood. I live there and I'm straight. Plenty of gay people in my building, plenty of gay people in my area. I might be the only straight man in my building, to be real. But it's a great neighborhood to live in. It's a community. People in your building look out for you. They take care of you. They say, hey, they're friendly. Um, let's see. This is a quote. With a public safety crisis in residents, business, and tourists expecting us to deliver, I do not think this approach, while timed out, would help the community achieve our goals of creating a safer West Hollywood. Erickson wrote in a tweet explaining why he voted to reject the budget. Uh, the trendy community of 35,000 residents, which is home to some of L.A. County's most buzzworthy restaurants and clubs, has recently become a destination for pickpockets. Yes, people are getting robbed at gunpoint while they're eating. Sitting outside, somebody putting a gun to your face, telling you to give up your jewelry, give up your money, take your car. They're robbing you for dogs. You can't wear nice clothes out anymore. Uh, Tuesday's council vote means that in, the, that in the next two fiscal years, funds that were meant to pay the salaries of up 
of up to five sheriff's deputies will be funneled instead to the city's block-by-block program, which provides unarmed security ambassadors. What the hell is an unarmed security ambassador going to do when a criminal comes to them with a gun? Call the sheriff? Now, you hire this person that's basically playing telephone. Uh, they over here about to rob somebody. Can you get over here? Well, you could have just had a sheriff with a gun. Make it make sense, West Hollywood. Uh, prioritizing people's safety doesn't just mean people with badges and guns on the street. Council member Lindsay, Lindsay P. Horvath said during the meeting, we have to find another way to keep our residents safe in a way that is affordable. You got to fight fire with fire. Sorry. Under the new budget, uh, the first two deputies will be removed in six months, and three more will follow six months after that. But an entertainment policing team deputy, uh, but a what does that say? But an entertainment uh, policing team deputy will be restored. Meister, a Democrat, has been a vocal opponent of reducing the number of deputies patrolling city streets, and many local business owners and residents also have expressed serious concerns about public safety. Exactly. I'm not going to vote for the budget if we cut, cut the sheriff's funds, Meister said. First of all, nobody has the gun problem that we have in this country. You can't expect us to have a public safety team where most of the people aren't armed in order to defend our citizens. Exactly. It makes no sense. You know people are out there uh, robbing people at gunpoint. Why do you need an unarmed, an unarmed person as a barrier? What will they do? Get killed? Get shot? Get shot at? Get hurt? Get wounded? Mayor Pro Team Seppi Shine countered by saying that the 30 safety ambassadors who will be taking over patrol duties represented more for the buck than sheriff's deputies. How? How is that possible? Jeez Louise. At the same time, the council voted to increase the budget of a Russian arts festival by $14,000 to $50,000. Make it make sense, Hollywood. West Hollywood. See, I don't know what it is about some people where they think that taking away guns or making stricter gun laws will all of a sudden make people not want to rob. In Australia, guns are illegal. They still have guns there. The criminals. And then the people who own homes have no way to defend them. How do you defend yourself when everybody, when all the criminals have guns and you don't because they've taken our guns or they made the gun law strict? I like what they have done in New York. And also, uh, if you have seen, uh, the state of California has released the name, the ethnicity, and the addresses of all concealed carry permit owners. Are we able to pull that article up? This has just recently happened. I think it happened today, actually. 629, yeah, that's today. Name addresses of every concealed carry permit holder in California exposed, officials say. Like, what is California doing? The name addresses and license types of every concealed carry CCW permit holder in California were exposed as a part of a data breach suffered by the State Department of Justice, according to the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. Officials say the California State Sheriff's Association informed the Fresno County Sheriff's Office about the data breach impacting those with a permit to carry a concealed weapon, which followed the publication of the state's 2022 firearms dashboard portal on Monday. At the time, state officials described it as improving transparency and information sharing for firearms-related data. So now you give the criminals the information about who has a concealed carry permit and where they live and their ethnic group. Sheriff's Office officials say the information released included the CCW holder's name, age, address, criminal identification index number, and license types, standard Judicial, reserve, and custodial. The information included every CCW holder in the state. Like, this doesn't even seem real. 
This doesn't even seem real. In response to the information being released, Fresno County, go back up. In response to the information being released, Fresno County officials say the state disabled access to the website hosting the data, data, but there are concerns that the information was copied and remains in circulation on social media and other parts of the internet. It is unknown how long the information was publicly accessible on the Department of Justice's website. California, what has happened? Bring all known back. Bring him back. We are living in Disney World. We are living in Disney World in California. Who is, are the animaniacs running California? This seems like a, a, a Narnia tale. Like, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. The gay, the lesbian, and the transformer. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what we're living in in L.A. right now. I, hey, man. Uh, if the if the cost of living don't get you in California, the criminals will. That's all I can say, man. And uh, I don't know, bro. Used to love L.A., used to love California, and now I, it doesn't have that same appeal anymore. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these actions that are taking place in California.